I'm sure you have a huge to-do list, but what's the size of your did list? For the best ideas in arts integration and SEAL, social-emotional artistic learning, subscribe to the Inspire Classrooms channel and hit the bell to be notified when we drop a new video. I'm Elizabeth Peterson. Let's get started. Sure, we all have a huge end of the year to-do list, but let's step back for a moment and make a different kind of list. A did list. This is a list of all the things you did, that you accomplished, that you made work. A number of years ago, my principal made a list just like this and it included all the things in the school that she could think of that were worthy of some praise. It was meant as a document to share all those good things that happened in our school with our school committee at the end of the year. And it became an annotated list nine pages long. Of course, she shared it with all of us teachers, and I gotta tell you, it was a lot of fun to look through and see all the things that we had accomplished in our school. Now, as we near the end of the school year, it's a great idea to reflect on the year, and what a year it has been. Creating a did list is a great way to look back on the things that we have all accomplished. For me, it can range from remembering an activity that really just worked well to finally putting a science binder together with all the materials so that they're at my fingertips for the following year. It's all about the little things as well as the larger accomplishments and those should all make the did list. And this year, with everything that you have done to transition to remote teaching, I'd be willing to bet that your did list is going to be pretty full. Here are some of the things on my did list. I did create DIY bulletin boards with my kids. In fact, we did quite a few of them this year. I did implement Friendly Fridays on a consistent basis. I did take more pictures of my students working in school. I did soundtrack my classroom successfully early on in the school year. I did file my papers more readily, and boy, was that very helpful. I did meet with students more to conference on their writing. I did implement SEAL lessons to help my students specifically with their self-awareness this year. And I did keep better track of my guided reading groups as well. So what's something on your did list? Make sure you add something from your did list in the comments below. I would love to see all the things that you've accomplished, big and small. Creating a did list is actually a good thing to do any year. And I'll tell you, this year may be the best year to create one. Here are three reasons you should take a moment and create your did list. For one, it helps you to realize your accomplishments. Creating a list, short or long, of what you did during a span of time is a great way to view your accomplishments. At the end of a school year, you can list some of the projects, the lessons, the professional development that you did to better your teaching and your classroom. Not to mention all the adaptations that you made and new things that you learned to transition yourself to remote teaching. Let's face it, no matter the length of the list, a did list can really help you to feel good about what you've been able to do. Another reason to have a did list is it's a great way to review your year. A did list can act as a reflection, a chance to look back on your year of school and reflect on that time. Reviewing your school year and reflecting on it can be really satisfying and you'll find yourself acknowledging what went well, what flopped, and what could be improved. And you know what? All those things are worthy of reviewing and reflecting on. The third reason why you should have a did list is it helps you to set new goals. Reading over your did list, you may find things that you will make sure that you do again next year. Put stars next to those things and keep them handy. Now, it's possible that you may find that your did list is just not as complete as you would like it to be, and that's okay. Either way, you can start to plan ahead, 
and set new goals for the following school year. Having a did list is just such a great way to refocus yourselves on what things are important to you and the things that you will remember most and the experiences that you want to make sure you provide for your students and yourself next year. To-do lists can be stressful. I mean, sure, it's satisfying to get all your thoughts out and then crossing them off the list is actually pretty nice as well. But let's change things up a little bit, shall we? Take a moment and list some of the things that you have already done and then feel that contentment in the work that you have accomplished. Make sure you share something from your did list in the comments below. I can't wait to see what you've been able to accomplish. The big things and the small things. They all should make the did list. I'm sending you all my best. Take care of yourself and I'll see you in the next video.